Hello and welcome to this basic pistol video series presented by Colorado Firearm Academy. In this video, we will be teaching you how to clean and maintain your firearm. We will be using this XDM 9mm, show clear, safe, no ammo in the magazine, and how to clean and maintain this pistol. A few things you will need before you get started. Uh, as far as safety goes, you can choose to use some latex gloves if you'd like. Um, you'll also need eye protection just in case some lubricant or oil happens to fling off the firearm, gets you in the eye, but more so to prevent you from touching your eyes while cleaning this. You will also need some sort of oil lubricant. I am using an Otis 85 uh, CLP all-in-one. You will need some sort of cleaning kit. Again, using an Otis brand cleaning kit, a uh, cable system, push system, bar system, doesn't really matter. Uh, for this pistol, uh, you'll also need some cotton patches uh, using circular Otis 85 brand patches and for the fine intricate parts, some cotton tips, Q-tips um, will help out. Also, you may want some paper towels, things like that to wipe up some excess, but those are just uh, here in case we need them. So to begin, you want to make sure there is no ammo anywhere nearby. I've already showed you that the firearm is clear. I've showed you the magazine is clear. So we are going to filter up the firearm per your manufacturer's warranty or per your manufacturer's instructions. To filter up the XDM, uh, the slide has to be locked open. You flip up your takedown lever. Then you're going to ride the slide forward. If you do it right, it should completely slide off, separating the frame and your slide. And then within the slide, you have your recoil spring and your barrel. Within your, within your slide, you have your trigger mechanisms, everything in here, your striker. Um, and then within your frame, the trigger mechanism, the reset, all that stuff in there, as well as your slide catch, slide release. So we are going to clean this from... Barrel, slide, recoil, spring, and then onto the frame. So I'm going to just get these things out of the way. Go ahead and pick up our barrel. And we're going to run a wire brush through it, through it to begin with. The wire brush isn't going to per se clean, clean it, uh, but it helps you remove any large debris, anything that may have been stuck. Um, also helps with burrs, things like that. So we're just going to dab a small dab of oil on it, just so we're not pulling it through dry. And then we're going to pull it through the barrel in the direction of the bullet fires. So as you can see here, you have your chamber, chamber, and then barrel. The bullet goes in this direction, so we are going to pull this through, entering through the chamber, down the barrel, and then out towards the crown. Wire brush should have a nice snug fit. Pull it through slowly and then be careful when you get to this end here as these wire brushes could fling oil on your workstation and up into your face. So there we are. We are good with the wire brush. So I'll go ahead and remove that from my cable. I'll set it off to the side. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach my eyelet to pull through my cotton patches. Again, we'll pull those through in the same direction, going from the barrel or from the chamber through the barrel out the crown. With these Otis 85 patches, I'm able to use them a little bit unconventionally from the square patches. As you can see, they, all, they have these six holes in them which allows you to pull through different sides different angles depending on your bore diameter i'm going to go ahead and use one of the inner slots i'm going to stick my eyelet through and then i'm going to fold over the suave and force it back through the eyelet On the first couple passes with the cotton swab or cotton patch, we're going to add a couple drops of oil just to grab up all the gunshot residue and remnants that may be in the barrel. 
and we will pull this cotton swab through until we're comfortable with the cleaning it's provided. After three pulls through, you can tell we're still picking up quite a bit of gunshot residue. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my cut on the patch so that I can provide more cleaning area. Fold this back through. And then I have a nice clean, fresh area to again pull through the barrel. Again, do this as many times as you feel necessary to the level of clean that you want it to get at. We will go ahead and discard that spot. I'm gonna pick up a clean patch. We'll feed a clean patch through a couple times. And that's gonna be good enough for me. I will be shooting this gun here pretty soon. So I'm actually gonna dab a little bit of oil on this and run it through one more time just to add a layer of lubrication to the barrel for the next time I go to fire it. Just like that. Go ahead and remove this cotton patch and we'll then use this. We'll fold it over. Add a dab of oil to clean the outside of the chamber and the barrel. Then we just rubber it down nice and liberally. So you get a nice clean, nice shine. You'll see uh, the gunshot residue coming off of the barrel and chamber here. Be sure to get any nooks and crannies you feel want to be cleaned. Go ahead and flip this inside out. And we'll go again with the oil that's already there. Awesome. Grab a clean patch and we will wipe down any excess oil that may be on there. Don't want to remove too much excess oil unless it's going to be going into, into a safe for a while. If you're going to be shooting this gun pretty soon, you want to leave some oil on there. Perfect. And just like that, we are done with our barrel and chamber. Now we'll move on to our slide. For the slide, we'll use a non-soiled cotton swab here. We'll dab some oil on it, and then we'll just rub down whatever we can see inside the slide here. There are some manufacturers that tell you what you need to oil and clean and also what to avoid getting oil into. Uh, refer to your owner's manual on those specific items. Uh, for the XDM, you are pretty much free to generously apply oil all throughout the slide, uh, getting anything and everything clean that you want to get clean. Then I'm gonna take a Q-tip here. Dab it with a little bit of oil to get into these intricate parts of the slide. So we'll clean in these little crevices where some gunshot residue and gunpowder can clean up. Just from a couple of swipes, we've already seen a lot come off of there. And then we'll also clean along the ejector, and the striker port, and then also along the rails. We'll flip it over, use the clean side to 
pick up some of this excess oil. And again, this is uh, to your preference on how you want to clean your gun. If it's going to be sitting in a safe for a while, you might probably want to get rid of a lot of the excess oil. If you're going to be shooting it here in the near future, a little bit of oil is not going to hurt it. Great. Then I will grab another clean cotton patch, apply a couple of dabs of oil, and then we'll clean the, the outside um, and the rest of the side, generously applying, making sure to clean off the, uh, the muzzle area. So you get that nice glean from the firearm. When you're comfortable with that, go in and grab another clean one and then clean up all the excess oil you don't want on the firearm. We will go over this one more time at the end. So if there is some excess, don't feel like you have to get it all off right now. All right, so we got our slide cleaned up there. And now we will move on to our recoil spring. In some firearms, the recoil spring will come off the guide rod in the XDM. It is uh, pinched, um, or if you have a firearm that has uh, two springs, it's most likely a, a single unit, um, but no worries on that. We'll go ahead and take the, the cotton patch we were just using, if you have a clean side on it. Dab a couple things of oil, and then let's we'll give it a good once over here. And then if you want, you can either use a Q-tip or your eyelet with the cotton patch. You can clean down inside your guide rod. Be sure not to uh, drop or lose anything or get anything stuck in there. And then we'll take one more clean patch and just pick up all that excess oil. Just like that. Now we'll move on to the frame. The frame has a lot of intricate parts to it. Some crevices, some ravines that we'll use uh, some Q-tips on, but for the most part, we'll use the uh, a large cotton patch to start with, apply some oil to it, and we'll start rubbing down all the areas we can get to with just our hands and fingers here. On certain firearms, be careful around the trigger mechanism. You don't want to bend anything or loosen anything. So just be cautious when touching and cleaning the trigger area. Go ahead and grab a Q-tip. A little bit of oil and we'll get into some of the uh, tighter areas rails Go take down forward Switch ends, pick up some of the excess oil. 
the gunshot residue that we have on here. Grab a clean cotton patch. Rub it all down again. that nice clean, that nice shine off of it. We'll take the same cotton patch and we'll uh, use our finger, go up into the mag oil a little bit. There shouldn't be too much residue down in here, but just to help clean, help maintain, we'll try and get as much as we can out of there. Once you're satisfied with the level of clean on all your parts, you're ready to start putting your firearm back together. So we'll do this in the reverse order that we did before. We will insert our barrel into the slide, then insert our guide rod and recoil spring, make sure it's all aligned, and then we will align our frame and slide and slide all the way down and on. Lock our slide back, put our tape down forward. And then if you're comfortable with it, you can pull the trigger, drive fire to ensure functionality. Everything's operating right. Now we still have some excess oil around the outside, so we're gonna take a, uh, a con swap and then we'll just might wipe the entire thing down one more time. Make it look like it just came out of a box for you. And just like that, we have cleaned this firearm. Now, one often overlooked piece of cleaning and maintaining your firearm is your magazine. Occasionally, these do need to be taken apart, taken down, ensure there's no um, remnants, cotton, if you happen to carry it in your pocket from jeans or shorts. Um, so to take down your magazine, most will have a little buttonhole right here. On this one, there's no there's no uh, inside base plate, so I'm pushing right onto the spring, popping that out of the way, and then the base plate of this magazine will slide off. Be sure to catch this spring; it will launch out and hit you in the face if you're not being careful. So this will slide off, and then I'll have the four parts of the magazine. I'll have my base plate, my spring, my follower, and then the stainless steel. Um, magazine piece itself. So on this, there's not much to clean. You just basically want to inspect it, make sure there's no nicks, crevices, or anything on here. I am noticing, noticing some cotton buildup on this, so I will take a cotton swab, cotton patch, I should say, and just give it a nice once over cleaning up any of this uh, lint and cotton that comes from pockets, if you happen to carry in your pocket. Um, Another main thing about taking magazines or even your firearm apart is just to be able to inspect for wear. Um, a lot of times you'll be able to see things that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise uh, by taking it apart. Just to ensure your firearm has a nice long life ahead of it. We'll wipe down everything else since we're mine as well. And then we will reassemble the magazine. Follower goes in this way with our spring behind it and then our base plate to follow. Just 
just like that. And we have cleaned and maintained a Springfield XDM. Uh, it's a magazine and ensured clean uh, functionality for the next range visit. If you chose not to wear gloves, please go wash your hands as soon as possible. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thanks. Bye.